everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Woodmere Estate Revival. Today is chipper day. We got a six inch Vermeer chipper running up the road there and we are dragging everything we can and uh, feeding the chipper all along the road, all along the property. We're getting rid of a whole bunch of stuff today and uh, really getting this place cleaned up. Let's go down and take a look. All right, we got the chipper set up beside the road here and we are uh, dragging rust from up over the hillside, stuff that we've already cut. Dragging it up here to get that in. My dad will be over here after a while. Hammering the woods will be down. Everybody will be uh, up and drag stuff down into position. And for safety reasons, I'll be the one uh, feeding it in, or my dad will. And I got the kids here, that's for sure. Let's see how this baby works. this old dead tree here by the uh, paper box and uh, dad's getting ready to drop it. There's nothing left up there, it's just uh, a couple of dead branches. That's the trunk for about some time ago. So he's going to knock that off. It's an uh, offshoot of this bigger than here. It's not doing any good. So we'll get that cut down and uh, throw it into the can of the chipper. The rest of it will just put, uh, uh, pile up the later.
have it folks. It's uh, the end of a long, hot, sweaty day. It was uh, up around 90 today and uh, we're all just wore out. Uh, you know, that's I've got a new level of respect for guys that work in the heat all the time, uh, cutting down trees, hauling trees, chipping trees. Uh, hats off to you fellas and, and ladies too. Uh, I'm impressed, you know, because it's, it's tough work. You know, it's, it's bad enough uh, doing this work when it's cool out, but then when you add the uh, temperature and the humidity in, it really takes it out of you. So we're happy to be able to uh, wrap this day up. I actually just ran out of gas in the chipper, so it was a perfect stopping point. It's about 6 o'clock, and uh, so this is a perfect time to wrap things up. Let me show you what all we accomplished today. So here you can see one of our huge chip piles. That was from all the branches that we picked up along the road here. My dad had come through when we first bought the property and trimmed back all these trees. Still got a few random branches that we need to get trimmed off there, but you saw my dad cutting down the tree there by the uh, newspaper box. Still need to cut that down and get that stump closer to the ground. But uh, yeah, we got all this stuff chipped up. Huge piles of chips everywhere. And my dad, he got up here and cut down all these uh, trees along the bank here. We left a few odds and ends. Uh, there's a red bud. Yeah, there's a couple of uh, dogwoods that we're going to save. They're small saplings, so I think we'll be able to transplant them. So we've just left a few little odds and ends there, but we got most of that stuff cut down. And then all down through here, we drug branches up over the hill. And there were just massive piles of branches all the way down through here. There's another pile of chips, another pile of chips. Uh, you can see where we just went through here and just cleaned all this up. So it's really looking great. I mean, this place was so overgrown. Down through here, my dad cut up all of those old bushes that were overgrown and dying. Down there next to the old dam. Got all those cut up. Still got to get this pine tree cut up. And uh, can chip some of it. Some of it's going to be too big. Another massive pile of chips there. We had big piles of branches right here at the base of this tree and then over here against the uh, the bank. Those were from our big uh, project behind the house where we had the 40-foot aerial lift going up there and cutting all those trees and stuff down. So all that stuff was treetops from out here. Another big chip pile. We had that thing going all day. It's no wonder we ran out of gas. And then all of this is cleared out now. And again, a few little scrubby uh, trees. Actually, this is a, a holly that I'm going to try to transplant. If you'll remember, it was just nothing but box elders and trashy trees, uh, poplar sprouts and vines. Miles and miles of vines. <laughs> so we waded through all that. Got this whole bank cleared off. These that uh, we left here, these are red buds. They bloom in the springtime. They're really pretty. Got a nice red flower. Uh, we may try to leave a couple of them here or maybe try to transplant them. They were too nice to cut down, so we just left them there for now. And the red bud there. And then all along this bank, we cut all these trees down and all along up there by the dumpster. So we are getting so much light in around the, the road now. It's unbelievable. If you saw some of the previous pictures, you remember how kind of dark and uh, overgrown this whole road was. It all kind of looked like this. <laughs> so this, this is the part that we'll wade into tomorrow and try to get the rest of this stretch knocked out all the way down to the edge of the road there and uh, get all that stuff chipped and, and thrown over the hill. Also worked here. Uh, we still got a few more brush piles. Got to get pulled up over the hill. But uh, there were some more where we had done the tree trimming and everything all along here. And we just pulled everything up over the hill. We just kind of tossed the branches over the edge there initially. So uh, today we pulled everything back up over the hill and uh, got everything chipped up. It's amazing how much more sun we've got going in on the road here now and how much better we can see the house. So there you have it folks. We uh, are real tickled with how much we've gotten accomplished today. 
Uh, I'm just absolutely wore out. I know I'm dehydrated. I've been drinking water all day, but it's been coming out faster than I am able to get it in. So i uh, feeling a little woozy right now. Gonna go home, drink two or three uh, gallons of water. Kidding, that's a bit of an exaggeration, but uh, definitely gonna get rehydrated, get a nice cool shower, get all the poison ivy scrubbed off, and uh, grab a bite to eat and put my feet up for the rest of the evening. So thanks for hanging out with us today. We appreciate you uh, tuning in for this episode of Woodmere State Revival. Please be sure to hit that subscription button so you don't miss a single episode. And hit that like button. And be sure to share this uh, channel with your friends and family. We appreciate you passing along. We are really enjoying uh, sharing everything that uh, we've got going on down here. So uh, tune again real soon for more updates. Take care.